Hi everyone, this is Kim from the Palo Alto Networks community team bringing you a new Palo Alto Networks video tutorial. In today's tutorial I will cover SNMP counter monitoring. Customers and also support have come to rely on global counters to debug some of the issues they see. In fact, some of our customers have asked us if it is possible to monitor these counters so they can act upon it as soon as their network monitoring tool notices that something is going on. Before Panel 7.0, the only way to verify the global counters was through the CLI using the command show counter global. Basically, you'll get a list of all the counters. There are some filters that you can add. Uh, to limit the uh, number of counters that you see but uh, basically you get the output you parse it and you verify for uh, suspicious entries the same applies for scripts that you run uh, basically you have script you, you could write a script that runs the same commands parses the output and verifies for a specific value so that was pretty much the way to verify global counters prior to 7.0, in a nutshell. Starting from PanOS 7.0, it is possible to monitor a set of these global counters via SNMP. Not all of them, that would be too many, but 56 of these counters can be monitored through SNMP. These 56 counters are categorized into four different categories. We'll cover those in a minute, First, I will show you the very basic SNMP configuration on your firewall. You can find it on the Device tab, Setup, Operations tab here, and go to SNMP Setup. Just give it a name. Select version 2 or version 3, depending on which type of SNMP version you will be using. For version 2, you need to specify an SNMP community string. Click OK and then commit that configuration. I'm not going to cover the SNMP trap configuration because it's not really needed for the sake of this video. Now that you have configured SNMP on your firewall, you can use any SNMP manager or MIP browser uh, or CLI, SNMP walk, whatever, uh, to well, browse any of the uh, OIDs. As an example, using this command right here, I can walk through all the SNMP OIDs on my firewall. Now, because this output is not really user friendly, I'm going to use a client for that. So using this specific MIP browser, but as I said, you can use any browser or any SNMP manager to do this, you can uh, browse through all the uh, OIDs. So the address right here is the address of my firewall. You have the port I'm connecting to. This is the read community, which was public, as you might recall from the configuration earlier and the SNMP version was version 2. Right now I'm not going to specify any OID. The operation is going to be walk and I just click go. And right here I have an overview of all the OIDs currently on my firewall. Still this is a bunch of numbers and doesn't really say a lot. That's because we haven't loaded any of the or MIP modules. Loading the MIP modules is uh, easy enough. You can simply download them from this website. You can find all the SNMP MIP modules or MIP files going from PanOS version 3.1 up to the latest 7.1. There's a download link for each and every one of them. And if, if you down and if you downloaded the uh, MIP files, you can load them into your MIP browser or SNMP manager. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Okay, so back at my MIP browser, let's go ahead and load these modules. Load MIPS. I already downloaded them, so make sure that you are downloading the MIP modules that correspond to the uh, PanOS version from your firewall. Loading all the modules. And you notice that the MIP tree is populated now. So let's go ahead and repeat the same walk we did earlier now that we have the MIPS or the MIP modules loaded. Here we go. And right now you will see that all the OID numbers uh, have been replaced or a lot of them have been replaced by uh, names which basically make a lot more sense. Right here we have a uh, service deny already that has some value, so let's go ahead and click that one. And in the left hand window you immediately see that this is related to the MIP pan flow host service deny, which is a member of the pan global counters drop counters. So Remember, at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that the new global counters was subcategorized into four different categories. These are those four categories. So you have the DOS counters, drop counters, IP fragmentation counters, and TCP state counters. Each and every one of them has a MIP, which reflects a global counter that you can monitor now. Now double clicking any of the MIPS on the left side will send a new SNMP GET to the firewall and it will get the uh, updated value and put it at the bottom of the page right here. So let's go ahead and do this. As you see the count has gone up from 1622 here to 1780. Uh, we can also verify this on the firewall if that is uh, correct. So let's uh, go ahead to go to the CLI and verify that counter. Seventeen eighty-eight. It has gone up a few counts. In the meantime so using an uh, SNMP manager you can monitor any of these new MIPS and take action where needed here are some uh, useful documents that cover some of the topics that were discussed in this video uh, don't forget if you have any questions or comments uh, you can reach out to us through our website live.paloaltonetworks.com That concludes this video on SNMP counter monitoring. Thanks for watching 